to our domain, children of the planet. <laughs> Y'all hear that just now? Our flesh is gone, yet our spirits are condemned to linger. Outsiders such as we are unwelcome, forever denied the planet's embrace. I feel for you, and only imagine how tough that's been. My kin now dwell within these effigies. I beseech you, lend them your ears. Long has it been since they have had an audience. They're not bound to the planet, and so she rejects them. Because you have to come from a life stream to return to it. Which means... These dudes can't die, right? <laughs> They're invincible! I'm not sure that's something to celebrate. Being stuck as spirits with no hope of release sounds like a fate worse than death. As if you know anything about dying. Uh, I mean... Are you even really alive? <laughs> Another stuck spirit, perhaps? We shall not rest till the materia is ours. You and me both.
You gotta tell me! In the materia of peace, we shall find the end for which we have long yearned. don't want to overstay our welcome here. It's hard to feel at ease around folks whose only desire is death. And if the planet won't let them have it, well, who's to say they won't let the planet have it? Save uh, me! Sure. Don't you think someone responsible like me ought to hang on to that materia? So it doesn't fall into the wrong hands. I think we shouldn't get involved at all, Lassie. Little late for that. <laughs> what do you think he wants us to do for him? Steeped in our one desire, curious the material no more. With pain and spite, a lack. Steeped in our one desire, curious of material no more, with pain and spite made black. Steeped in our one desire, curious of material no more, with pain and spite made black. Whatever that materia is, we can't let them have it. No matter how much they want it. Don't know how far we can let this go, but for now we play along.
not born of the life stream can never join its flow. One cannot return to that from which one did not arise. And so our souls sought refuge here. Yet idleness brought no solace. Our days, a penance imposed by the planet for the sin of our existence. And now, our only wish is to be freed from this prison, to be granted true release. From the planet, we claim the greatest of materia, a most sacred treasure, and imbued it with our desire for freedom. After an eternity, the materia began to stir, and thus did we rejoice knowing that salvation was within our grasp. We rejoiced, so convinced were we that our prayers for release had not been in vain. Yet the loathsome Cetra trespassed upon our lands and stole the treasure that would grant us deliverance. Therefore, we ask that you retrieve it, the Black Materia, key to our oblivion. Please, it alone can liberate us from this endless dream. The Gi cannot rest until our sacred treasure has been restored to us. Moreover, in redressing the crime of her ancestors, the Cetra may help us to let go our ancient grudge. Where is it? It is said the orb lies within a place of Cetra worship. A place of Cetra worship? Or temple? You know what? I have an idea. At least, I think I do. Forgive me, Hollow One, if I regard you with suspicion. 
Now hold on there. I'm friend to one and all, thanks to my crystal ball. No matter your need, I have the right read. <sighs> He's strange, but you can trust him. Really. It appears we have been discovered. I trust you will return our materia to its rightful home. Only you can end our torment. Guess we're back? Yeah. We need to get moving. Right! I'll make you proud, Dad. Just wait. Good to see you again. Allow me to escort you to fellow Bugenhagen. Please, this way. salvation or whatever but to me it sounded more like something with the potential to wreak some serious havoc nope no way in hell are we letting them have it can't let him have it either him sephiroth did no one else sense him uh, no you're the resident expert if you say sephiroth was there i'll believe you wait 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 so are you saying sephiroth's after the black materia too probably Better to assume he is. Well, come on! Let's go, let's go! Can't let anyone get between me and my materia! So, Kitsu, I gotta ask, how do you know about the Setra Temple anyway? Uh, well, like, uh, I wouldn't say I know about it exactly. Not directly, anyway. What's that supposed to mean? I just recall some document or other discussing its existence. If we can get to a Shinra terminal, I should be able to find it again. Terminal, huh? They said any up here? I think so. But I bet old Boogie will know for sure. <laughs> Thank heavens you're alive. I feared you might have returned to the planet. Oh, come on. We both know you didn't need to worry about me. After all, I am the son of Seto the Watcher. Forgive me. But if I recall correctly, Shinra should have set up a transmission terminal here in Cosmo Canyon, so... Where is it? Oh... Uh, what did become of that thing? Ah, yes. Now I remember. <laughs> I was so fascinated by the technology it employed, uh, I did some tinkering. Some tinkering, I say, though it was quite a lot. But now it serves a decidedly more practical purpose. You've got to be kidding me! Oh, well, do you know about a Setra temple? A temple, you say? If you mean a place where they worshipped gods, none exist. The Setra never engaged in such practices. I... didn't know that. Maybe it was referred to as such by someone ignorant of their culture. If instead it is a site of importance to the Setra that you seek, texts do speak of one, and of the pains taken to conceal it. So, it 
does exist? Oh, ho, ho, ho. Perhaps, though I know not where it is. Huh? And even should you find it, I would urge caution. They were a star-crossed people. To follow in their footsteps is to court tragedy. <sighs> However, the rewards may yet outweigh the risks. You must bring every one of your senses to bear. For then no secret will elude you, however well hidden. And when you return home, I hope you'll share your discoveries with me. Fellow Bugenhagen! What is it? I'm a little busy here. Another man in a black robe has come. What should we do? Well now, a friend of yours? Where'd you see him? Oh, uh, the village gate. We should check it out. Yeah. Blessings of the planet be upon you. Are you in need of guidance? Nanaki! Is this man okay? He is, albeit rather weak. Not sure why, though. I know Mako poisoning when I see it, and this isn't it. Nebo... I'm... Nebo... I'm... Nebo I'm... ain't that... Ratifa and I grew up. Oh! Of course! Nibelheim has a terminal. I'd bet my whiskers on it. It, uh... had a terminal. Cloud, remember what you told Gein attack back there? That I might be weird, but you can trust me. Hey, well, even if you were lying, I'm gonna prove to you that you can trust me. That I'm on your side. It's not that. We should go. Hey! <laughs> Wait, you're talking about heading to Nibelheim from here? There's no roads you can take far as I know. Maybe we can't go by land. But by air. Meaning we'll need smoke. Right then, back to the airstrip we go. It may serve as a good place to start. I'll send you the coordinates right away. What happened? Is you? See? I heard the people in black robes are suffering from some sort of illness. They probably that went. Blessings of the planet be upon you. Are you in need of guidance? Have you heard about Avalanche's crimes? There are wanted posters for them all over Cosmo Canyon.
yearn to chase the horizon. We are simply mm -hmm. all. Such comparisons are by no means a rare occurrence. Excuse me, is something wrong? Ah, you again. Nanaki's companions, yes? Forgive me, I've yet to introduce myself. I am Caesar, one of the canyon's mentors. Now then, to answer your question, rather vile fiends have been sighted in the Vale. Ones believed to be portents of calamitous ruin. Really? The creatures have been observed on many occasions in times long since past. But always has our planet risen to the challenge, brought her might to bear and staved off disaster. It is through this unique celestial event that the planet provides us with proof of her victory. As you can see from these photographs, once the cataclysm has been averted and our world stands triumphant, Gloriously resplendent comets grace the heavens. Huh. I don't see anything like that around here. Indeed. Though it should be said that none of these pictures were taken close by, but rather far from our current location. Perhaps we simply cannot see the miracles from here. The falling stars may have left their marks in the skies elsewhere. We're gonna go look for them, right? As if you'd ever take no for an answer. Truly? You would do this for us? It would be a great weight off our shoulders were you to find them. If you are serious, I suggest visiting the three locations in which the fiends were last seen. The signs we seek may show themselves there. Here, use these reference materials and this recording instrument. Photograph the comets you spot. Though try to ensure your pictures match ours. Blessings of the planet be upon you. Now then. Who would like to speak next? Blessings of the planet be upon you. Are you in need of guidance? preparing for field work. Haven't performed any in quite some time. At the moment, I'm trying to hunt down my tools. I must have buried them awfully well. But where? Field work? At your age? Yeah, I don't know. Maybe you ought to let us handle it. <laughs> oh, treating me like I'm some invalid? I am the very picture of health. Oh! <laughs> See what I mean? Just swallow your pride and let us take care of whatever it is. You stay and rest. <sighs> well, I suppose I should take you up on the offer while you're still here. Very well. I'll let you assist me. 
Good. Now, lay it on us. <laughs> In truth, something has been troubling me as of late. Take a look at this field report from my previous survey of the life springs in our local region. Are you sure this is accurate? It was at one point, but life springs are mutable. They rarely remain in one location for long. Indeed, such events move periodically. Nothing unusual about that in the least. However, it is not their positions which trouble me. Rather, what the survey team has reported Mm -hmm. Perhaps this fact-finding expedition of ours will clear things up. I would have you visit this site first. Then, measure the Marco frequency using this meter of mine. All right, we'll do. Blessings of the planet be upon you. Are you in need of guidance?
Chocobo, Choco, 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 I'm on a Chocobo. You're on a Chocobo. No, if you really want to write after me, that's cool with me. I'm done with writing. Oh. Hmm. apony has been a part of my family for years, ever since I was little. We rode together so much, we could tell what each other was thinking, and we never had a crash. During my last race, I hit another chocobo and fell. As soon as I hit the dirt, I looked up and saw the feet, the claws, coming right at me. Every time I close my eyes, I see them again. I'd like to be alone, okay? Hmm. So that's how it's gonna be. Fine! I'll give poor Apony the exercise she needs.
do. Daisy. You'll never make it as a jockey if you can't handle training that basic. I'm gonna make you eat those words! So you better hope they taste good! <laughs> 